Gulolo district is one of the places in Papua New Guinea with oldest aviation history. Today it is one of the districts difficult to live in. Much of its population are scattered in villages situated within landlocked areas on the outskirts of Wau and Bulolo town where most of the government services can be found. Four to five hours, I walk about to go down here and I come back in. Most of these places don't have road access and it takes several days to walk to the township of Wau and Bulolo through these rugged terrains. Service delivery has been few and far between in recent years in this part of the district. We'll see that. On Saturday, Bulolo MP announced the district's plan to link these places by air with their own aircraft. Medivac will be taken out of here. Any medivacs out of Waria Valley will be operated out of here and then direct to Lay. Uh, uh, freight subsidy, we will be also negotiating coffee bags coming into Wau out of uh, Waria and Takadu. Bololo district is also looking at extending its air services to Kerema and Oro provinces. So I will ask for them to be part of the program if they wish to, because uh, the areas that we, we're sharing are borders of uh, Sohe and borders of uh, Kerema. Focus is On his recent visit to Menyamia district for the reopening of Sewi airstrip, the aviation minister reaffirmed the government's intention to revive this aged old service. We, we, we are talking about a government that is restoring education, making it easily accessible. Uh, we're talking about a government that wants to bring quality health service. While the government seeks to upgrade rural airstrips, Bulolo district is now looking at owning an airplane that belongs to the people of Bulolo. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Lei.